This is how you can code a reaction rule command for your Discord bot. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the slash command package for this video, but you can use any handler you want. So just go ahead and create a command like you would usually uh, in your handler, and we can go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to go to moderation. I'm going to do reaction rule.js. In here, I'm going to do const slash command builder equals require. We can do at discord.js slash builders. Again, this is slash command based. You can use prefix if you want, but this is slash commands. Then we can do const, uh, in here we can do permissions, bit field, button style, action row builder, button builder, and embed builder. The reason we're writing all this out is because uh, last time, for some reason, I put it in the wrong section, and so I just want to make sure it goes into the right section this time. So then we can require the discord.js uh, semicolon. Now we can do module.exports equals data new slash command builder. I'm going to do dot set name. In here, we're going to do react role, I guess. Um, and then we can do dot set description. We can say this is the reaction role message command. We can do dot add role option. And here we can say option arrow function option dot set name. Uh, we'll do role one. And then we can do dot set description. This is the first role you want to set up, I guess you can say. We can do dot set required. And we'll do true. We're going to do true for all of these. Um, before we move on, I just do want to say that you can only put five of the buttons or reactions onto the message. So you can add up to five of these. Um, so for your message, if you only want one, you can put one. If you want three rolls, you can put three rolls or five rolls, whatever you want. But it's one to five. Um, any more than that, it won't work. And obviously, you can't have a reaction roll with zero rules. So now we're going to copy this, um, what we just did here. We're going to paste it under here. We're going to change this to rule two. We'll do this uh, second rule, just like that. We'll paste it again, rule three. Um, and then this is the third. Uh, I'm just going to do three for this, um, but you can do up to five if you want. You can do comma, async, execute, interaction, client. We can do const role one equals interaction dot options dot get role we can do role one we can go ahead and do const role two equals interaction dot options dot get role and then role two and then we can do the same thing we can do const role three equals interaction dot options dot get role and then role three um Again, if you have more, if you have five, if you have less, if you have two, for example, um, then you're going to do the same thing. Um, just make sure you require uh, them all up here, and then you make the variables down here. Uh, so then we can do if exclamation mark interaction dot member dot permissions dot has. Then we can do permission permissions bit field. Um, we already have that required up here, so you're good to go on that. Then we can do dot flags dot administrator just like this and then we can return wait interaction dot reply content you must have admin perms to create a reaction role message and we can do e p h e m e r a l true we can go ahead and add a semicolon here and then we can go down here and we can do const button equals new action row builder so we're going to put three buttons in this action row builder, um, but we're going to call them all button. Uh, so then we can do dot add components and we can do new button builder. New dot set uh, custom ID button one dot set label. And we can do roll one dot name um, and then we can do dot set style. So you can put any style you want. Um, 
it's going to be button style dot and then you can do any one of these um, for me I'm just going to do secondary I think that looks the best for this kind of thing uh, so then we're going to go ahead and copy the button builder and we're going to go ahead and paste it down here and we're going to go ahead and call this button 2 and we're going to do roll two as well and uh, one thing I forgot to say you do have to put a comma here and a comma here as well it should look like this um, because I have three rolls required up here I'm gonna do one more um, so it's gonna be like this and we'll call this button three and roll three just like that all right so now that we have our buttons what we can go ahead and do is we can come down here and make our embed we can do const embed equals new embed builder and then we can do dot set color blue or whatever color you want set title you can do reaction rules set description we can say react with the buttons below to get the specified rules and then in here we can just put in our rules so we can do rule one and then we can do rule two and rule three just like that and we can do await interaction dot reply embeds we can do embed we can put in our components just like this components and we can put in button just like that we can add a semicolon here all right so now we're going to go ahead and create our collector so we can do const collector just like this equals await interaction dot channel dot create message component collector just like that and we can turn the collector on so we can do collector dot on collect we can do comma uh, we can say uh, async i and then we can do a arrow function outside just like this we can open this up all right so now in here we're going to do const member equals i dot member then we can do if i dot guild dot members dot me dot roles dot highest dot position then we can do the less than sign. Then after that, we can do roll one dot position, just like that. Open this up. We'll do i dot update. Uh, we'll do content, and we'll say my role is below the roles that I'm trying to give. I have shut this reaction role message down, something like that. Then we can do e p h e m e r a l true, and then we're just gonna return. So there's no errors. We can actually go ahead and copy this whole thing. And right here we're going to do else. And then we're going to paste it. So it's going to be else if. And we're going to change this to rule 2. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing one more time. Because again I have three rules. So we're going to do else in front of that. And we're going to change this to rule 3. And then we're good for that. Um, again if you have like five rules or two rules. Or however many you put up here. Um, you're going to want to do the same number down here. All right, so now we can actually go ahead and read the button's custom ID and then reply to that and give them the rules. So we can do if i.customID equals equals equals. And then right here, our first button is button one. So that's the custom ID we're going to read. So we can open this up. We can do member.rules.add. And then we can do rule one. We can do i.reply content. We can say you now have the role and we'll just pass in the role one dot name and then we can go out here and do e p h e m e r a l true um and then we're going to go ahead and actually copy this and go down here and we're going to do button two because i believe that's what we did up here button two that's the second custom id we want to read and then we can pass in role two instead of role one there and then right here we're going to change this to role two as well so because i have three rules I need to put on this message. I'm going to do the same thing again, and we're going to change this to button three because that's the third button's custom ID. We're going to put the roll three in here and the roll three in here as well. Um, and then we are good to go. This is going to finish off the reaction rules command. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. I did make a slight error here. I spelled this wrong. So just do execute just like that. And then we can go ahead and restart the bot and actually 
uh, test this command out. Over in the Discord server, we can run our React role command. We can just pass in some rules. Um, and then, as you can see, it's going to say you must have admin perms to create a reaction role message. Over on the account that actually has admin perms, we can do the reaction role message. We can pass in our rules just like this. And as you can see, it's going to send the reaction rules um, just like that. So if we go ahead and react right here, it's going to give me the role, as you can see. Um, if I react with this one, it's going to give me that role. And same with this one. It'll also give me that role. And if I go over on to here, just to show you that it works here as well, if I react just like that, it's going to give me the role as well on this account. Um, as you can see, it's going to keep giving me them. So one more thing. So the bots role does have to be above the rules you're trying to give. Now this reaction role command is technically multi-guild. So I tried to do the if statements and the else statements in the, in the code to basically catch an error. So let's say your bots role is below even just one of these roles. I'm just going to go ahead and make a new reaction role message just like that. As you can see, the bots role is kind of in the middle. And if we do it just like that, um, and I click any one of them. So as you can see here, um, it tried to shut it down. It tried to remove all this stuff, but I did mess something up. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. And so what we can go ahead and do is we can go into these statements right here. Instead of this, we're going to do comma and we're going to do embeds and we're going to leave that empty. We can do components. And then we're going to leave this empty as well. So it's going to look like this. Um, we can go ahead and copy this and replace the um, infernal thing down here. Um, and then once we've done that, we can try this again. All right, so now that we have the new message here, um, I'm going to go ahead and try to give myself any one of these. As you can see, it's going to shut down the reaction role message uh, because the bot's role is below even just one of these roles. Uh, so that's just to make sure that the bot doesn't crash or do something weird um, if it's supposed to be multi-guild. Um, but yeah, that's how you can code a reaction rules message for your discord bot um, If you need any help join the server in the description below and I'll be able to help you out and yeah with that I'll see you in the next video